Brothers and sisters, the day of judgment. The day of judgment will be 50,000 years long. We hear that figure all the time. But when was the last time you really thought about it? 50,000 years. The longest any of us has a chance to live in this dunya is maybe 100 years. And yet, the day of judgment will be so much longer than that, that 100 seems like nothing. 50,000 years of court dates. 50,000 years of witnesses and testimony. 50,000 years of criminals looking at their book of deeds and seeing the details of every single evil they did and replaying it in their heads. That's a long time. How many times do you think a person will have to replay their sins in their head and say, if only, if only, if only, if only. And imagine the feeling of regret. Imagine the anxiety. Imagine this person just waiting is a punishment in and of itself. May Allah Ta'ala protect us. Imagine standing there and, and, and cursing yourself and saying, I wish I wasn't so foolish. I wish I didn't commit to this evil. I wish I just used my time more wisely. Those feelings, it's important for us to feel them now because now you can act. Now you can do. Now those feelings can translate. They, you can generate good from them. On the Day of Judgment, those feelings do not generate any value. May Allah Ta'ala protect us. Allah says in the Quran, بعد أن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سأل سائل بعذاب واقع للكافرين ليس له دافع من الله ذي المعارج تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة فاصبر صبرا جميلا إنهم يرونه بعيدا ونراه قريبا A questioner questioned the imminent torment. For the disbelievers, none can repel it. It is from Allah, the Lord of the ascending stairways. Unto him the angels and the spirit ascend on a day whose duration is 50,000 years. So be patient with graceful patience. They see it as far away, but we see it to be near. يَوْمَ تَكُونُ السَّمَاءُ كَالْمُهْلِ وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ وَلَا يَسْأَلُ حَمِيمٌ حَمِيمًا يُبَصَّرُونَهُمْ يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ لَوْ يَفْتَدِي مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِئِذٍ بِبَنِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَأَخِيهِ وَفَصِيلَتِهِ الَّتِي تُؤْوِيهِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ يُنْجِيهِ كَلَّا on the day when the sky will be like molten brass and the mountains will be like flakes of wool, no friend will care about his friend. They will be shown each other. The criminal will wish that he could be ransomed from the punishment of that day by his own children and by his spouse and his brother and his family that sheltered him and everyone on earth in order to save himself. No, indeed, it is a raging fire. May Allah Ta'ala protect us. كَلَّا إِنَّهَا لَضَى نَزَّاعَةٌ لِلشَّوَى تَدْعُوا مَنْ أَدْبَرَ وَتَوَلَّى وَجَمَعَ فَأَوْعَى إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ خُلِقَ هَلُوعًا إِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُوعًا وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا إِلَّا الْمُصَلِّينَ No indeed, it is a raging fire. It strips away the scalp. It invites him who once turned his back and fled and accumulated wealth and hoarded his own wealth. Indeed, man was created hasty, irritable and impatient when difficulty strikes and stingy when good reaches him, except for the observers of prayer. إِلَّا الْمُصَلِّينَ اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ Except for those who observe their salah, they won't have this fate. May Allah Ta'ala make us amongst them. أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praise belongs to our Creator and may His peace and blessings be upon the best of creation فاصبر صبرا جميلا إنهم يرونه بعيدا ونراه قريبا Be patient with a graceful patience They see it as very far away but Allah sees it as very near The day of judgment the punishment the justice is not as far as you think. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, يَدْخُلُ فُقَرَاءُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ الْجَنَّةَ قَبْلَ أَغْنِيَائِهِمْ بِنِصْفِ يَوْمْ وَهُوَ خَمْسُ مِئَةِ عَامِ The poor Muslims will enter paradise before the rich by half a day, the length of which is like 500 years. Subhanallah. 500 years they get to enter paradise before those who were rich and had something to answer for. The poor Muslims, the oppressed believers, the ones who were kicked out of their homes, the ones who had nothing, the ones who were abandoned, the ones who were forced to live in subjugation, the ones who had no power to lift that oppression, the ones who were abandoned by the world, the ones who were betrayed by their brothers, the ones that you and I may look at today with pity. Wallahi, brothers and sisters, on the day of judgment, they will look at us with pity. As we stand in line to answer for every single thing that we did and had in this dunya, because that's the whole point of Yawmul Hisab, the day of accountability. It's time to take account of everything you had and everything you did. So if you had so much more, then there's so much more to answer for. Right? So if you think that you are in better shape now, and you look at them with pity, how will it be on the Day of Judgment? Who will be the one in better shape? If you are standing in line to answer for your cars and your mortgages, and to answer for all the restaurants, thousands of restaurant meals that you've had, all think of all the food that you threw away because uh, you know it went bad and I bought too much and this and that. Think of all the times you've door dashed. Think of all the vacations you've went on. Think of the piles and piles of clothes that you have in your closet that just goes to waste. Eventually you throw it. Think of all the ni'am. Think of all the luxuries that we've wasted in this dunya. All of that has to be accounted for. So you have to ask yourself, who will pity who on the Day of Judgment? May Allah Ta'ala grant us honor in this dunya and the next. Those who are standing in line, drowning in their own sweat, they will look very pitiful. They will look pathetic. They will look weak. They will look scared and anxious because they have so much to answer for. And those who had nothing, those believers who had nothing in this dunya, who entered paradise or who are on the way to paradise because, well, there's nothing to answer for. There's no hisab. How do you think they're looking at the one who's waiting in line? He has another 50,000 years to go. He has another 1,000, 10,000, 5,000 years to go. And they're like, well, I'm done. They will enter paradise 500 years before. Of course. Did you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not going to rebalance things? Is that fair? Is that just? Because... I want you to memorize this principle, to memorize this rule. Anything that is delayed until the Akhirah will weigh much, much more. Anything. In fact, everything. The good and the bad. If you use it in this dunya, it's not, it's not going to weigh as much. But if it is delayed until the Akhirah, it will weigh significantly more. So the next time you are wondering what to do with that dollar in your pocket, how much is it worth to you in this dunya for some dunya benefit, dunya luxury? And how much will it be worth to you in the Akhirah if you use it for khair, if you donate it, if you give it to someone less fortunate, if you build a masjid with it, if you think of what is the best way to use this money? What is, how can I get the best value out of this dollar? The next time you're about to use a minute or an hour of your day, we each have 24 in every, each and every single day. Ask yourself, how can I get the most value out of this hour? Because it's either going to be worth whatever it's worth in this dunya, or it's going to be worth so, so, so much more in the Akhirah. Allah says, ما لكم كيف تحكمون؟ أفلا تذكرون؟ What is the matter of you that you? What is the matter with you that you make such strange judgments? Will you not then reflect? Do you think that Allah won't rebalance? Do you think that Allah will treat somebody who was killed at 18 or 15 or 10? He will treat them like the person who lived till 80 and enjoyed life the entire time? ما لكم كيف تحكمون؟ That is such a strange judgment. That wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be just. And Allah subhanahu wa taala is the most just. And I want to leave us on a note of hope because it's important that we do so. There is still time to make tawbah. For us, alhamdulillah, we are living and breathing. We have options. There's still time to make things right. There is still time for you to have a better experience on the day of judgment whose length is 50,000 years. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu advised us that your experience on the day of judgment will be based on your deeds. Some people, it will feel like two rak'at. Subhanallah. That's how short it will feel. Others, they will experience the entire 50,000 years because of their sins and because of how much they have to answer for. So it's never too late. And I want to leave you with the words of Allah who said, 
فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب رحيم On that day, no soul will be wronged in the least, and you will only be recompensed for that which you used to do. The inhabitants of paradise on that day will be very happy and very busy. They and their spouses will be in the shade, reclining on couches. They will have fruits, and they will have whatever they call for. Peace, a saying from a most merciful Lord. May Allah Ta'ala make us amongst them. May Allah grant us Jannat al-Firdaus bi ghayr hisab. May Allah Ta'ala give us the strength, the guidance, and the wisdom to use our time wisely in this dunya. May Allah Ta'ala make us a means of aid for those who are suffering around the world. May Allah Ta'ala make, give us the strength, guidance, and wisdom to stand up for justice, and stand up for the weak, and stand up for righteousness and the oppressed. O oh Allah, guide our hearts and protect our hearts and our children. O oh Allah, we ask you to aid those who are suffering around the world and to make us a means of aid for them. Allahumma ghfir lil muslimina wal muslimat. والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم انصر عبادك المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصر إخواننا المستضعفين المظلومين في غزة وفي فلسطين وفي كشمير وفي تركستان وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم أهلك الظالمين بالظالمين وأخرج المسلمين من بينهم سالمين غانمين وصل اللهم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأقم الصلاة